Well, let's continue with problem B, food buying. I think this problem is very interesting. It's simple, but it has very, uh, a lot of details. So let's start. Uh, they are going to give us a number S. Um, we have to choose a number X that is between 1 and S. And we are going to have a new number of points that is going to be uh, we're going to subtract x from the number, the initial number of coins that we have, and add the division, the integral division of x on 10. So, uh, what we have in best is number x. So, we have in best x, and now we can repeat this process any number of times until we don't have money. So if this was the first time, it's 1 plus x2 plus xk. If we, have, if we do this process k times, and we have to maximize, we have to maximize the sum. So, uh, for example, in the problem set, the one input is 19. So the optimal way of choosing a number is from 19, you just subtract 10 and you add 1. So you, now you have 10 and then and you add 10. And from 10, you subtract 10 and add 1. Now you have 1, you add 10. And when you have one, you only can have one. Now you have zero. So the maximum is 21. Because if you choose, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, 19, everything, you're going to add 19, zero. However, 18 divided by 10, you're going to receive one. So this is one. But 1 minus 1 is 0, and you have only invest 20 coins, so this is not the ultimate choice. Um, we can see that, for example, if we, if we have numbers 1, 2, 1 till 9, then 10, 11, until 19, 20, until 29, 30, until 39, and so on. And we choose x between 1 and 9. We're going to receive 0. And here we're going to receive 1, 2, 3. And let's suppose that you're going to choose a number in this range between. Uh, between 10 and 18 inclusive. Uh, the optimal choice is to choose the smaller one. In this case, the smallest one is 10, because if you choose 11, you're going to invest 11, you're going to invest 11, receive one. And if you, choose, if you invest 12, or whatever, you're going to receive one, but if you invest 10, you are receiving also one. So uh, if s prime is equal to s minus x plus x, in this case, if all of them are in the same range, it's going to be a constant number, and you want this to be maximum to stay trying this process until you can you can't do that again so it is a constant uh, and this has to be maximum and this is also constant this, you have fixed an s of, of a fixed s and you're going to subtract a number of a range the minimum uh, you have to be maximum this uh, this 
bigger number, bigger number, you have to subtract the minimum one. So x is going to be the, in this case, 10. If you are in here, it's 20. So it's going to be a multiple of 10. This is the first detail. And then another detail is that, uh, let's suppose that I want to, I want to, uh, I have a number, you know, 37. Uh, we have seen that it's always optimal to choose a multiple of 10. So now the, uh, the question is, which multiple of 10 I have to choose? I can choose 20, 10, 20, 30. So let's analyze what happens if I choose, I don't know, uh, if I choose 10, and let's suppose that I can't update this number. So I can't erase, I can't subtract 10 and add 1, subtract 10 and add 1, 3 times. And after that process, I'm going to have 7 plus 3 is going to become 10. But uh, if I have 20, and I subtract 20, uh, I can subtract 20 one time and add 2. So 37 is going to become 17 plus 2 and 18. And I can subtract 10. And add one, and it's going to become ten in the same process. So, mm, as we can see, before adding these numbers, I'm going to use the color. Before, before, uh, before adding the ones to, if we don't add this factor that is going to make us continue increasing the number, so that's why we have to maximize something. Uh, at most, we can subtract uh, as many tens, for example, I can subtract at most many, uh, minus 20 and minus 10, and they're going to some theory, they're going to some theory, and if I subtract theory, I only have, can subtract theory. So at most, I'm going to subtract all the multiples of 10 and then add, in this case, 3, in this case, 2, plus 2, and plus 1, and plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. So I always, I'm always going to obtain this number, this 3, this 3, this 3. So it doesn't matter uh, which number I choose, that is multiple of 10, if I see the numbers I'm going to add at the end of the process, the last, the new number S prime is going to become S minus. I don't know which combination of this thing is uh, K prime, but I'm going to add a constant that is in this case is uh, well, this if all of them are tens, it's going to be K prime, but if there is other number, there is other number, but the constant still remains the same and the number too. So, um, as if all of them are the same, and we have shown that the optimal solution is taking multiples of 10, uh, the best idea is to choose the biggest multiple of 10 and then add what we have to add to the number and continue doing this until we can't. So now let's analyze when, uh, why this works and it's not going to give us time limit. For example, uh, let's suppose that we have a very big number. Um, I don't know, uh, um, 10, 10, it has a lot of zeros here. And if we, and it has, I don't know, k digits. Oh. 
because because I have a number seven two three four six I don't know if I subtract this is the biggest multiple multiple of ten that I can have and uh, if I have this number uh, and I just it, I'm going to remain with one digit D1 and I'm going to add this number to any number so is always going to be reduced the number S is going to became uh, is going to have now one uh, digit uh, less at the end so if it has k digits suppose that it has k digits then it's going to have k minus one digits but we are going to add the last number that we have and suppose that it was c in the worst case if it was nine the biggest one uh, nine plus the other number could became a new number i don't know which number is that has k digits it could have k digits again but uh, because nine is not ten uh, it's not going to at most it's going to became for example, 9 plus 9, 8, or, or 10 plus 9, or, uh, so uh, it's not going to increase a lot. So uh, uh, we are going, we are always like almost reducing one digit, uh, and then the process still until we have only one digit and we have one digit this is we can do more because if we have one two three four until nine uh, if we chose one we're going to add zero if we choose two we're going to add zero if we can add nine and we choose any number in here we're going to add for example i plus zero and we have the remain remain so it's not going yeah, it's always going to be the entire number now we're going to add most uh, uh, taking log of the number log in base 10 of the number n number of steps before the number decreasing until the one digit so i think this is the solution well, let's code it Uh, in each test case, we're going to have the number S, we have to maximize what we have analyzed before. So, uh, This is the maximum number, I think, and the answer is well, bigger than. I think it has, yeah, more than ten digits, nine digits. So, yeah. and the answer at the end. And first, uh, we have S. With S, uh, we're going to repeat the process until S is has one digit so while s while s is greater or equal than 10 we can do the process so the process was we have the maximum multiple of 
then uh, let's call it uh, taxi. It's going to be s divided by ten. Uh, we're going to add maxi to the answer, and then we're going to uh, s. This is going to return its reminder of dividing it by ten. But we're going to add a maxi number that. The number that oh no, maxi divided by that is what the problem is there here. The cash back. Um, when we have only one digit, I want to add that to the answer because it's impossible to increase the number because uh, a number of digits are going to have zero and uh, it's going to it's not going to have a multiple of ten of things bigger than that. And this is the solution. Uh, let's try. I'm not sure what's wrong here there. Maxi times 10. That was their mistake because we're taking that number, that part of the left, but I got uh, taking the other digit that was zero because we're, we're, we're using this digit and I was removing it here. So I think now this is correct. Well, uh, I, I prefer to remove what I have code and start it again by only taking the left part, the part of the left. And I'm going to add it to the answer. Then S is going to continue S, it's S minus that part plus maxi over 10. The problem is making balance in test. I look at say uh I think complexity of the problem is uh, the number of test cases that we have and it's going to be equal of ten of the number that you know, we are going to read. And we have only yeah, that's it. It's correct. We only have 10 to the fourth test cases, so it's going to put the same ones. Um, thanks for watching.